Well, this afternoon we're here in Bedfordshire on Unilever R&D Colworth Farm. I'm with Andy Coggins, the farm manager here, and we're going to be talking about control traffic farming. Well, control traffic farming is all about keeping compaction in its place or confining it to the least possible area. And we do that by keeping the tractors and the machinery all running in exactly the same place year in, year out. And it's as simple as that. It's just a matter of, of getting the techniques right and using uh, appropriate guidance systems to achieve it. With the control traffic system that we've got here at Colworth, we've actually matched the tractor up exactly to the combine harvester track width. Now as you see that results in a very wide track tractor and we recognise that that really isn't practical for most European farmers. So we've got a lot of different systems that are much easier to put in place with just standard equipment used intelligently. Andy here is the, is the guy who's got to make it all work in practice. So let him describe what he has to do. Um, we've found uh, setting up the track zero um, and setting up uh, CTF and auto tracking on this farm quite quite a, an easy experience in many ways. A lot of it um, is based on best route to put your track zero on and quite often that actually aligns itself with the previous year's drilling anyway so more or less the same route as conventional drilling has been done in the past. This in essence is a typical CTF field, a typical CTF map. This map will have been produced before we started the CTF project in order to decide where we want to put the track zero in the field and where we want to keep the curve tracking. In this example, the track zero app becomes one of the headman passes. This map now becomes a ready reference for any operator and the curve tracking will be listed around the edge. Any wildlife strips, six meter strips around the edge, the track zero start point, and this will be where the fixed marker is. So tractor drivers can align themselves on that marker and the direction of travel of the first straight run. The information centre that we really need to use to actually make CTF work, we're operating off the, proceed, uh, off the receiver on the roof. This will contain all the information of field operations, um, past and present. It will, it will retain all the settings, which is very crucial for CTF, uh, what we basically call the track zero settings. Each field will have its own track zero setting logged in. This will ensure that any operator can get onto this machine, key into that field, uh, key into the correct track zero setting and know they'll be steering in the correct direction. The only thing you'd have to do as an operator um, would be that you would have to align yourself absolutely correctly on that line of travel and this is where the skill comes in with the system and this is what we're finding out. This is why um, you'll see on CTF fields an actual visual marker in the field because so the direction of travel will be set for you, the actual ac exact centre of the tram lines possibly won't because of deviation in satellite signal and this is where the permanent marker in the field comes into its own and this is where the track drop operator lines up on that marker. Okay, we are now in a field of um, conventional no-till, in other words it's random traffic and I'm just going to demonstrate the soil condition here by trying to dig out just the, the top 30 centimetres or so with a fork. And you can see here this is very, very solid. In fact, I'm just getting nowhere ah, at last. Not a great deal of traffic with min till or with no till, but even so, just a one weeding in three years is enough to compact that right back down again. So these, these tram lines are looking pretty reasonable, Andy. We've only just filled them once in the, in the first year. Uh, How do they yeah. compare with the, the min till that we've got behind us on con conventional traffic? Well, certainly on the on certain parts of the min till field, they're certainly more bounced than this. Are they? Uh, to some degree, yeah. So you've not really had any problems with these now in the fourth year? No, not looking, really. Not really at no, all, no. And these, these are permanent, obviously. Well, this is a controlled traffic field. Again, been in um, no-till for three years. And uh, we're obviously not in a, in a permanent wheeling. But we're now looking at what the structure is like here and how difficult it is to dig out. And immediately you can see a massive difference. I've gone down to the same depth with a fork, but it's just coming straight out. 
see a nice few worms in there and a much more structured soil here far less compaction in here and of course it's still recovering from many years of of compaction by traffic so it's gradually recovering neither of these seals have been deep loosened um, they're just as is so control traffic farming is all about just keeping all the tracks in the same place year in year out minimizing the the tract area not particularly using wide tracks like this but using conventional equipment in clever ways all sorts of different ways of doing it and as we've seen from the soil images the impact on the soil the taking away of all the compaction has a dramatically improving effect lower cost inputs very low inputs and actually we're seeing improved yields as well so a very positive impact on on farming systems